It's reported that monkeys were made to inhale fumes from several cars in an airtight chamber. German media says that researchers conducted similar tests on about 25 people. Well, Iris Spitz is in Berlin and says the country's biggest auto manufacturers are now scrambling to salvage their reputations. Well, this story really centers around a research group called the EUGT, and this research group was founded actually by the big three German automakers, Daimler, Volkswagen, and BMW. And the uh, group was founded back in 2007 as Volkswagen, as the uh, German automakers were uh, looking to push into the United States with their diesel technology. Uh, and there were concerns, and there have been concerns, of course, about uh, nitrogen oxide, which is produced by diesel engines. So uh, this group, uh, essentially, one of their big mandates was to try and counter research, research that would show uh, the harmful effects of nitrogen oxide in diesel engines. So uh, this led to this study involving monkeys, which took place in the United States. It's also been reported that the group uh, carried out a study involving humans uh, here in Germany. Now, uh, the university responsible for that study says it was not uh, carried out in an attempt to uh, justify diesel emissions, but still very shocking news, of course, especially uh, with the uh, just sort of the, the general scandal that has uh, engulfed the automakers for the past few years to now find out that they were using uh, humans and animals as test subjects, really disturbing to a lot of people.